Alright, hello my friends. So, today's video, as you can see from the title, it's going to be like a DIY, but also like a paint with me type of session. Today's video is actually in partnership with Arteza. They went ahead and sent me a few of their products, which I'm really excited to be showing you guys and talking about. They ended up sending me their fabric markers in addition to their fabric paint bottles. This is actually one of the things that I ended up making. Hope World, Hobby. They love him so, so much. But yeah, I ended up making the sweater in addition to a tote bag. So if you guys are interested in seeing how I made them and also seeing a full review on these products, make sure to keep on watching the video. But yeah, I'm really excited and I think we should just get straight on into it. <laughs> So for the tote bag design, I looked around on Pinterest for some inspiration and found this image and it made me think of Life Goes On, Stream B if you haven't already. Now with the Arteza fabric markers, I'm gonna go ahead and outline the mountains and some of the stars using a black marker. And at first I wanted to have the whole design in black, but I also wanted to have a spice of color. So I went in with some green for the trees, orange and mustard yellow for the fire and the stars, and blue for the water, of course. <laughs> After using the Arteza fabric markers, I say they're really smooth and easy to use, and to my surprise, there wasn't any bleeding on the ink, which is great. One thing I love about these markers is that they come double-sided with an ultra-fine tip for the smaller details and also a fine tip. The colors are also very vibrant, and with 30 colors available in this pack, you can definitely let your creativity run wild. Is that how you say it? <laughs> Anyways, no but seriously, I'm really impressed with these markers and would definitely use them again. Maybe you might make some more tote bags after this or honestly make another t-shirt. I'm not not totally sure but I really liked how it turned out and yeah all right, so for the sweater, you're obviously going to be needing a sweater. <laughs> I got mine through Amazon. Now with the stencil I printed out that says Hope, I went ahead and sketched out the back of it so that when it comes to transferring the design onto the sweater, it would be a lot easier. I'm not totally sure what this process is called, but if anyone knows the actual term, let me know. Now with the Arteza fabric paints, I chose True Red and Light Gold, but with the box having 24 colors in total, I definitely would use the others for a future DIY or a painting session. I also decided to use Use the fabric markers once again using the red marker to outline hope which would definitely make it a lot easier for me to stay within the lines when painting if you know the struggle, let me know. <laughs> so in terms of the design, I definitely wanted something that wasn't too extra or out there. So I just went for the simple and aesthetic vibes, but also when don't I go for that? <laughs> Anyways, I also decided to add the little flower within the O. It turned out really, really cute. You'll see it in the next clip, but yeah, I think it definitely adds a little pop, especially for Hobie. We think of flowers like so, so cute, but yeah. Now onto the painting process. Anyways, in terms of using the fabric paints, again, like the markers they came out very bright and vibrant also i've never really seen a wide range of colors available especially for fabric paints so i'm glad that arteza has made that possible though i only used a few of the colors i was thoroughly impressed with how they transferred onto the sweater and again no bleeding which we love I'm also working on another sweater as we speak, and I'm definitely excited to use the other colors within this set. But yeah, I really liked how my sweater turned out. It is so simple and aesthetic like I keep saying. Overall, using both the fabric paints and markers have definitely been game changing, and I'm super thankful that Arteza reached out and sent me these. If you guys are interested in getting these specific sets, I will leave the links in the description box in addition to a coupon code that you can use during checkout. Oh my god. Uh, oh my god. Oh no. Mm. All right, as you can see in the previous clip, I was struggling to get the world written onto the sweater, but it ended up looking really, really nice. Anyways, thank you again so, so much to Arteza. And now let's move on into the B-roll. This is what it looks like. It's so, so pretty, but yeah. You curl up in this bed with me Cozy up in these sheets, girl Turn whatever you please, yeah, yeah Look, I'ma keep it simple If you could take this invitation And just come over to mine I'll let you decide You wanna just say so Stay through the night, just be you It took the guy you found, baby Got to is a job, yeah, oh
right, friends, so that is the end of the DIY slash paint with me session. I hope that you guys enjoyed it. If you guys would like to see more videos like this, please do let me know in the comment section down below. Thank you so much to Arteza for teaming up with me for this video. The products are overall so, so amazing, and I'm definitely going to be using these more. But yeah, if you guys are interested in checking these out, make sure to check out Arteza's official links in the description box. And also, if you guys plan on purchasing any of these, you could use my coupon code, which I will list in the description box as well. Also, make sure to check out their YouTube channel because they have a wide range of like inspiring videos to help you get in like the crafty mood. But yeah, if y'all are interested, make sure to check them out. But yeah, that pretty much wraps up the video. Make sure to follow me on my social media, guys. Instagram, TikTok. Y'all know the deal already. <laughs> but yeah, I hope that you all are staying safe. And yeah, I will just see you guys in the next video. All right. Bye, my friends. I got, I got you. Oh, oh.